Or just like this. All those things that was written. I've got miraculous letters. I got letters today from meeting the people that is before this arrival is in. I'm getting letters from people. They say, Prophet, I, I'm, I'm receiving my blessing from the Lord. Come on and say amen. amen. All of it since, say amen. amen. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every since, uh, 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 the Lord told me I was in Lumberton, North Carolina. Doctor, I want you to begin to get a sheet. See, when you come, you think about it. And God said, I want you to do it, and I want you to put it on and wear it. Look, listen, sit right there, sit back. He said, I want you to wear it. I want you to put the names of the people that need deliverance, healing, and salvation. I want you to write it on the sheet. He said, I want you at the end of the week. He said, I want you to use, amen, the other part, I want you to use it as Paul told sheep and tore the, the garment off of his body. He said, I want you to tear it and give it to the people. There was a young woman in the hospital in Lumberton, North Carolina. He said, she was in the hospital and uh, 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 she had a, 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 a uh, um, digestive system and she avows rather amen she was they was they had put up uh, they was her bowel they was her wasn't used her bowels wasn't being used like it was supposed to be used and they had her uh to 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 uh, bring her bowels through another way and she was like this about three weeks prior to our coming to work to lumberton and, and she was a young woman, middle-aged woman in her late 20s, probably early 30s. But she was like that, and she didn't, they didn't know what was going to happen to her because, amen, because her body at that time was so messed up on the inside. But I knew God was able. Come on, somebody, and say, I knew what God was able, and I knew what he said, do. He is able to perform everything. It sounds strange, and folks say, you look mighty silly wearing that sheet, but that's all right. As long as you get powerful results, that's all right. Come on and say amen. Nowadays, you want to be all. You want to do things that will make folks understand what we are doing. But those that's not in the realm of the Holy Ghost will never understand the ways of God. Now, we're out in the streets like this. Praise God. <laughs> Names, and I begin to pray. Every time I thought about it, I prayed. I sat in my hotel day after day, and it go out day after day. Amen. We begin to pray. We begin to pray. And pray. Amen. This was all the way in May, March, April, one of those months. And, uh, Lord, to keep it. And before you go, I got a lot of layers here. He said, I want you to take the names of the people and write them on this sheet. I'm going to keep it if I got to do the rest of this year. He said, Hallelujah. And I would turn it around according to the rhythm of the Holy Spirit. And I would tear this sheet. And God told me tonight to give this song tonight. God said, Amen. Those of you that got sick loved ones, they're going to be healed. That woman came out the hospital in two days. She came to that meeting. Yes, she did. She came to the meeting. Amen. Glory to God. She came weak. But glory to God. Hallelujah. She came to that meeting. She sat in the front row. Good God Almighty. And she testified. Amen. Glory to God. Because her uh, her sister, amen, took the blood cloth. And she said, Mama, I want a big cheek. I tore a big one. And, and, and then they wrote a name over there and say, Rise up in the name of Jesus. She said, I, The doctors, they wouldn't let me in because of the odor. She said, I went in and out. Had to have a mask on my face, rubber gloves on, she said, but I laid it on the body. And she said, In two days, somehow or another, they didn't know what in the world had happened. 
But see, my glory, about everything inside of a open up and function like it was supposed to function. And the doctors was amazed in that good God Almighty. The third day, they told that woman, they said, you can go home, but don't you do anything. She said, I'm going to church. She said, I got to tell it to somebody. And he walked out of the office. She, I didn't know who she was. She was sitting in the front row. Amen. When just a moment of time came. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Her sister. Amen. Praise God. Still. So my sister is here. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And three days ago, for three weeks, she was in the hospital. She couldn't pass her bowels. They was taken out through somewhere else. But tonight, she came to church. Amen. She saved. She healed tonight. And we're praying to God. Say your soul. I want to let you know, even if she's still right there, let me know that she's still here. Amen. Glory to God. I know what God can do. Amen. Woman in debt had an earache in her ear. I took it. God said, You place the cloth in her ear as far as it can go. I took that one my Place it in the ear. Are you listening to me? Amen. As far as it can go. And slap her ear. God says slap it as hard as you can. Put that prayer cloth in her ear. And I slapped her here in the name of Jesus. Huh? She getting up drunk in the power. You will never be the same again. And I command the demon falsely. Healing name. Mm. Healing name. Oh, Lord. He will heal your body and save your soul. Yeah. <laughs> 